Welcome back to the Meeple Marathon and our continued coverage of Descent Legends of the Dark. Uh, today is going to be a very quick video. Um, this is uh, kind of a continuation of my storage solution video. This is an item that I found after I had put together my initial storage solution that I feel everyone uh, should consider adding to their setup, to their storage setup. Um, that really has helped me streamline setting up the game, uh, storing the game, keeping my sanity. And that involves the tiles specifically because the tiles, uh, in my opinion, are not really negative, but um, you know they are all very similar looking. They all have the same pattern and it's tough to just at a glance um, decipher them without picking them up and looking at the numbers. And they, the app gives you the numbers and everything like that. So I wanted a way to organize them that would make them easy to store, pull them out of the box, but also keep them organized while I'm playing so I can easily find what I'm looking for. So let's take a look at what I have found here. <clears throat> All right, so here it is. You can see I've, I've left the label on it. I'm gonna take the label off. It's got some fun dots on it. That's simply because I found this at my local dollar store and I it's exactly what I need. I don't need to, to go to anywhere else, but essentially this is just a file folder for uh, legal sized envelopes, standard size envelopes, or you know, full size, not the little postcard size or, you know, anything like that but you can see here the dimensions are um, 10 10.2 inches by 5.1 inches uh, so you can find these. I'll put a link in the description below if I can find this online again I walked into my local doll store I thought saw it and I was like I need that this would be perfect I think this is gonna work and it has worked out really well for me so um, you can find these at any office supply store. You can find these at Walmart, Target, Amazon. Uh, if you have a Dollar Tree nearby, go check one out if you don't mind that has cute little dots on it. For me, it, it doesn't even matter. But what the trick is, is that um, not only does it keep everything, you know, they're, they're not very thick on their own. Um, you know, they lay pretty flat on their own, but almost all of my tiles are in here and I'm I have I, I take my time when I'm putting the game away to put them in order and also stick them up so that you know the numbers are somewhere easily seen as I'm flipping through here so I know if I need like 15a I know that 15 is in the very back here um, or that ones and twos are always going to be in the front so this saves me a ton of time um, in, when I'm in the middle of a session and I'm setting up the addition to the, the map or the dungeon, um, keeps it all organized. Now you will notice there are three tiles that are not in here. Uh, the three largest tiles, I'll show you in a second here, I actually just have, have stored on top of my scenery because A, there was room there, B, uh, they were pushing the boundaries of, of fitting in here. You could, uh, right now this sits pretty level it does not raise the box lid up at all um, but adding three more tiles in might push it up a little bit more so for right now I just have one through 15 in here um, a few other things while I have your attention um, that I have just added um, in order to make quality of life uh, setting up and breaking down the game better if we take out our, all this other stuff that you might be seeing I have covered in my previous storage solution video so if you want to see that check out the uh, link that's popping up in the upper right hand corner at the moment where I talk about all this other stuff but um, just for sanity purposes what I have done here is a I have put all of my uh, whatever you want to call these things that you add to the bases of the enemy tiles into this little container. Again, I highlight these in a lot of my videos. You get them for like three for a dollar at Michael's uh, Super Stacker Boxes. This just makes it so I can set this thing open and it's much easier to pull them in and out while I'm playing than having them in a bag and dumped all over the place. So this was uh, something that I have added to my storage solution. The last thing was is that I there was only a couple in provided with Fantasy Flight, but honestly, I have I always save these baggies, even though I try to get rid of them because they do come in handy. I have gone ahead and uh, 
put given a baggie a separate baggie for each individual hero character put their weapons and their skills so as i start to earn more weapons and more skills they would each will go into the baggie that way when i am sitting down for a session and i decide you know especially right now i'm playing like two characters but i keep swapping in and out because i i want to experience all the characters and um you know, experience the full game. So I'll just sit here and I'll be like, okay, I'm gonna take Galadin and Chance into this next scenario. I pull out their two envelopes, all the other stuff I don't have to wade through. It stays protected nice and flat. Um, so that's just a quality of life thing. I'm sure a lot of you probably have some large size baggies. I actually got these, I think from Madara maybe had a bunch of them that I wasn't using. So if you have Madara sitting around, you should have these right size baggies. But again, these baggies are easy to find at any craft store or if you have a lot of board games from the past um, you probably have them sitting around <clears throat> what I've also done is I have bagged up the weapons and trinkets in a single bag all of my skills are in another bag and all of my consumables and wounds are in a third bag that way when I'm about to play for the most part I leave the weapons trinkets and skills all bagged up in the box usually don't need them in the middle of a scenario i pull out the consumables and the wounds and i set that stack off to the side so bagging them up separately keeps me from having to pull out all the cards every session lastly in my fourth baggie here i have all of the consumables and trinkets and armor that i have unlocked everything that i have crafted that has a card that is not assigned specifically to a hero stuff that I can pass out at the beginning of every mission, no matter who I am taking on the mission, I have, again, in a separate baggie. So four baggies of cards. I know it seems like a lot, but really it helps me get the game going so much faster. It improves my sanity um, when playing the game. And then just the last thing here I promised I'd, I'd show you guys, here is the three large tiles. Again, you could probably squeeze these up on top if you wanted to, but they really aren't bothering me here. They're not raising the box lid up. They're not squishing anything. They fit perfectly here. Uh, since I have created a nice flat surface for them, they, um, you know, I just pull them out, set them off to the side with my file folder here, and I'm good to go. Uh, I always pull these out, set them off to the side, pop this lid off. This is the only thing I pull out and I've always set out and then I'm good to go. I set this box next to me on a chair next to me and it's out of the way, but I can just easily reach into it, pull out what I need, put its stuff back in. So there you have it. Again, if you want some more details on this, uh, the fullness of, or you know, the full breakdown of this storage solution, not just the stuff I have added in recently, uh, check out that video that I linked um, earlier before. And um, hopefully all of this helps improve your, like I said, just this is just quality of life improvements that you can make to your storage solution to help you get the game to the table faster uh, play through the scenarios faster and easier and then get it put away faster. I've actually taken the time to set up and break down, completely put everything back in the box between each scenario just to make sure that this storage solution is in fact um, manageable and it is. So even though I have a table that I can leave stuff set up on, I've chosen to break it down and put it all the way back in the box between every scenario and it works. So if you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I will try and put links to everything I can, uh, all items I can in the description below. If you don't see a link here, check out my other storage solution video. Links for stuff like this should be in that one. Uh, once again, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Uh, have a great day.